Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel for the next video. In this video, we'll cover the interface Java practical 1B. So you can see the practical uh, that uh, create a solid for the login page. If the username and password are correct, then it says message hello username else a message login failed. So let's start with the practical. So that uh, here NetBeans already have started. So now we'll go to that file. So we'll go to file. Yeah, so that uh, click on file, the new project, Java web from the categories, select web application from the right uh, projects, then next button, then practical is uh, this enterprise. one B okay now click on next button uh, from the next button that server and setting uh, this uh, server name the glassfish server uh, this uh, java e version then uh, next button then again we have to see that frameworks but no need to select the framework here click on finish button so this is the enterprise java practical one B you can see that uh, we have to start this but uh, we'll go to services we'll open the glassfish server here so right click say start okay we'll come back to the projects as uh, you can see in the project so uh, we need to uh, you can see that create a solid for login page if username and password are correct then it says that uh, uh, message that username and password so that means uh, we have to create uh, this gy part so gy that we need uh, two text boxes right so this uh, two text boxes uh, uh, one for a username one for username second for the password okay so this is a password right again uh, we'll need two buttons yeah, so that one button just for uh, submit button, you can take only one button, but I am taking here two buttons and one for just reset button. So this is the GUI which you have to create. So two text boxes then uh, and two button. So uh, we'll go to that HTML page, right? So we'll minimize it. we'll go to the HTML page here we can see that how we can create it so go back here uh, I can write the title here I can change the title page so write here login servlet okay this is the login servlet yeah this is the login servlet now uh, we have to create the solid page also so we'll go back the project uh, we'll go to source package we'll uh, right click on the source package and we need to create the package so you know that uh, uh, again i will go back so right click source package new we'll select the solid page here so from this solid page you have to give the name of the solid page i can write here the name of the solid as login servlet okay so this is login servlet page so this is login servlet yeah so that package you can give either you cannot give so i can uh, give uh, that uh, my pack i have given this uh, the name of the package but not necessary that you have to give the package so the name of the class is that's uh, login solid you can click on the next button from the next configuration solid uh, deployment you have to just uh, create uh, select that web.xml file so just check it and that uh, click on the finish button 
so i have created this servlet page uh, this login uh, servlet page why i have created this but uh, because whenever you are uh, creating that html page so you need to redirect uh, that particular page to the servlet page so this is uh, I, i will remove all the code which is which is not required here right so i can remove it this is the servlet page right and uh, these are the which are not required so uh, now we'll go back uh, first we'll create that html page first right so right here so we'll uh, create the first html page you know that uh, first of all we have to start with that uh, you know that everything we have written within the form so form tag then action and i have just created that page that is called as login servlet so you have to just redirect redirect this page login uh, this servlet login servlet right so this is the servlet page uh, then uh, as you have seen that uh, we need the method so method here that method is post method yeah and you know that this is uh, as soon as you click uh, uh, insert uh, press the uh, uh, enter button you will see that the closing uh, form tag is also there so you have to select this closing just click on enter button and now select it so your entire uh, code will be written within this form opening tag and the closing tag so now the first thing is you need to create the first text box so right here enter the username right so here username okay so username so input type here so input type input type is equal to text so this is uh, text uh, and uh, we have to use that uh, provide the variable so we'll write the name uh, is equal to that i am writing here txt id i will write here txt id initially okay so this is the first line uh, which i have written for the first text box right so this is for the user uh, you enter the username you can also use this uh, same thing for the password right so i, I will just copy and paste your password so this is the password here that i can write here uh, txt uh, i can write here pass okay so you can use that uh, uh, this values uh, for the line break here so you can just use uh, one line break uh, i can use one more line break here okay uh, this is now as i have shown you in that uh, is here that i am i have just created the text boxes two text boxes right so we'll use two buttons so we'll go back and we'll write that buttons create the buttons for so we'll log in that uh, input type is equal to submit uh, we are creating the button and uh, we'll write the value is equal to uh, for example login i can write here so login close it okay one more thing you have to use it input type and this is input type is equal to just this is type yeah so input type is equal to uh reset this uh, and provide the value so value is equal to clear i can write here clear all okay so close it yeah now you can see that uh, uh, we have created this uh, this is the uh, form tag one form tag uh, clo opening tag and the closing tag here the first two lines for the for inputs and the for next two lines are the two buttons here now i can check uh, the services because you have to see that the, whether the class fee server is on or not so now you can see here that uh, green arrow is uh, shown that means the class fee server is on as i have shown you 
like how to open this Glassfish server, just right click and you have to say the start button, right? So just right click and run file. You can see that uh, the page will be created if it is working without uh, any error. Now just wait for this uh, browser, okay? So I have taken two text boxes and two buttons. Now you can see that uh, I have written here that enter the username and the password that login and the clear all so that uh, it will you, you can see this uh, since I have not written any uh, uh, solid page okay so this is the GUI which I have created now go back and we will see the solid page so we will write down the solid page here okay so I have shown you earlier that I have removed that uh, unnecessary pages here right so you can see here that the login page is the name of the class solid class which always extends that uh, HTTP solid page okay and you can see here it is written here to do that output uh, your page here so whatever code you want to write you can write here so for uh, uh, like uh, if uh, uh, for the confusion point of view I will remove all the codes which is written here we will write the only the code only which is required for this particular program so I have removed all the codes right as uh, you can see that uh, uh, you have to write a program for that login uh, the successful and uh, uh, login fail right so we have to provide the input so first of all we need to just write down the uh, two variables so we will write the two variables here string yeah so string that uh, username so you name I can write here you name then request uh, as you can uh, you know that request dot get parameter is the method for getting the uh, you know that uh, inputs okay so we'll check here uh, put the semicolon here here will provide you can go back you can check that the first input this is the name of the variable is txt id right so this is uh, I can write here txt id yeah so this is the txt id this is the first input now we have taken one variable that uh, txt id will be saved where in the uname here so now we can uh, use one more variable declaration so we'll write one more variable declaration this is for the password so this is I will write the pwd right so okay, this is for the password again from the previous page you can see that the variable is called as txt pass so we will provide this txt pass okay so these are the two lines uh, which is written for that uh, uh, inputs uh, this is for the username and this is for the password okay now the next question is uh, as you can see here this uh, if username and password are correct then it says that means we have to validate we have to write down the codes for checking uh, that variable should be uh, like uh, correct then only that the uh, output will come so now we'll write down that if we'll write the if condition right so if condition if we'll see the first variable that is username so that is username dot you know that equals so equals uh, for example I want to provide the name a uh, username as uh, Sandeep okay so this is the username okay and uh, simultaneously we will also use the uh, check the password that should also be correct okay so then uh, I will check the password also uh, then uh, pwd dot equals okay so the next one is uh, for example I will write uh, cbs one two three okay now uh, these are the two uh, things like here uh, that username and password so username I am providing that uh, Sandeep and the password I am providing here CBS one two three 
in if it is correct then it will print so uh, just write down here out dot print ln out dot print ln okay so this uh, just uh, I will use the h1 tag for the better display h1 opening tag or h1 closing tag here then uh, I will use this uh, welcome as you have seen that you have to display that welcome message so welcome then uh, we will use this uh, welcome okay so then uh, welcome username so this is uh, you name right so this is username okay so this is username either I can also add here that uh, welcome so and so name and that uh, login successful I will just write here login successful successful okay so this is just uh, just for the display point of view nothing else I can just set it so this is what this is the first line uh, we will uh, if it is correct then the display will come that login uh, for example uh, here welcome the Sandeep so welcome Sandeep login successful ne one more thing if it is not correct so what it will display else uh, it will print out dot print ln out dot print ln okay login field so simply uh, we have to just uh, display that h1 tag then h1 closing tag here right so this is it will display login failed okay so this is uh, the condition uh, how it works okay okay this is yeah uh, opening yeah so this is the now uh, I just check the codes here right so first line uh, this is for uh, creating that uh, uh, variable for storing that you inputs user input again the second line for uh, storing that password then again the next line we have to just check whether that uh, username and password both are correct then uh, the output will be you welcome username login successful else that it will print a login failed okay after this you just run the solid page right click run file you have to just check that file yeah so no error is there right we'll go back to that uh, html page we'll write the html page okay run the html page right click run the html page I have given the username and password that is HTML, right? So I have written here as Sandeep as a username, password at CBS123. I will write uh, click on login. You can see here that welcome Sandeep login successful, right? So that if it is matches, then that output will come that uh, welcome username login successful, okay? We'll go back, uh, we'll provide some other inputs. Uh, I will write here admin. I will write here admin. Okay. So that uh, if it is not matching, then the, I will click on that uh, page. So that you can see here that the login fail here. Right. One more button I have written here that clear all. Right. So you can see that that entire thing is here. So that uh, if you check here that the output is uh, at this. Uh, if it is correct then the output will come login successful right so this is uh, this is the practical number 1b so students continue watching my video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe thank you